Hi everyone, welcome to the video and welcome to the BI WizKid YouTube channel. I'm going to look at something quite fundamental in Power BI um, and it's something that I get asked about all the time when visiting customers and clients. Uh, it's something that a lot of people ask in forums and it's something that's used pretty much in everyday reporting. Uh, and this is editing interactions. So I'm going to get straight into it. It's going to be a short video um, and I'll probably use this particular report for a number of little videos that I'm going to create in the coming days and weeks. Um, that will just show you some quite fundamental uh, features of Power BI and how we can sort of put that into practice. So today, as I mentioned, it's editing interactions. So this is my report. So this is some data that I took from the Premier League on the number of goals scored by each team. Now, just a quick overview of the report, we've got a data table here showing the number of uh, shots on target for a particular team and the percentage of goals scored from those, the number of fouls committed, and again, looking at the away goals uh, and the same sort of metrics there as well. Uh, we've got a couple of graphs here and charts, uh, home away goals, so percentage of home and away goals in particular months, um, number of fouls and the referee that was sort of giving those fouls at the time. Uh, we've got a list. Uh, we've got a, a we've got a um, graph down here that shows us the away goals all by team. We've got the versus team over here. So we'll look at the number of goals scored against each of these teams. And this is something that I just put together as a quick infographics. If I just expand this, you can see these are tiny little footballs that I've used and coloured. Okay, so editing interactions. So let's say, for example, I select Arsenal here and I just want to see Arsenal data. As it goes through the report, you can see it does highlight and filter down the the graphs and charts but it doesn't really look great it's not exactly what we want to see so what we can do if we go up to this format tab and we've got a button here that says edit interactions now if we click that we can say okay I've selected this particular data table over here and when I select an item on here I want this to highlight and that's what it's currently on by currently on by default and if we say filter this will remove all the highlights and just show you those details for Arsenal. Again, if we go over to here, we've still got the data table highlighted and we can click this little filter icon and this will show us that. Okay, so we can do that for pretty much all the, the visuals on the page. And I'll also do it for this particular graph down here because this shows us the average goals uh, scored against a particular team at the moment because it's just highlighted it's showing us the average for the whole for the whole uh, unfiltered uh, value now if we were to filter that that will show us the number of goals arsenal have scored against each of these teams and the average number that they score okay and this is home games by the way but let's not go into the report uh, detail too much let's just concentrate on the features so that's a way of highlighting um, and filtering uh, different graphs. Now we can also apply this to other items. So let's say, for example, we select team or we'll select Arsenal. Okay, so that'll filter down the rest of the report. It'll filter down this table. It'll filter down this one over here. But actually, you know, when I do select a team, I want it to don't want it to filter this table, I want it to stay, stay as it is, so it'll still show me all the data on there. And also, I want this graph down here to stay the same as well. So it'll still show me all of the details, even though I'll select Arsenal at the top here. And if I clear this filter, go over to Referee, select Andy Mariner. Again, that will filter it all down. But I don't want it to filter this referee one because I want to see his details against against all the other referees. So I'll highlight referee and I'll filter that and that'll show me everything else as well but still filter the rest of the reports. Okay, 
Now we can also do this with year and month. At the moment, it's default. It's set on. But let's say, for example, we've got our months in here. I think this would be shown better if we use month in calendar. Okay, so this will give us all the months as they are there. Now, if I select 2018 at the moment, it still shows me everything else. But if I highlight this and then say filter, then this will then show me only 2018. Month. So that is how we can edit the interactions between visual slicers and filters. Now you will probably have noticed that the order of these dates is in a particular order. Now this is the the Premier League uh, start month, and as it goes on through the month of June and July, where the end date is. Okay, and the way I've done that is created a quick order so I've used a switch function here I've said okay month of year which is a number at the moment I want if it's number eight I want that to be one if it's number nine I want that to be two etc 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 and then I have found the month of year I go to my sort by column which I then select the Premier League order and then that will order the months here as you can see on this graph here it starts in August and goes across and the same over here in this little infographic table as well okay so a couple of little uh, features there that Power BI has uh, I'll be doing a few more of these videos uh, soon so that's it for today thanks for watching see you soon